All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to our workshop. We're really excited uh, to be doing this JTK workshop at the Broad. It's the first time in over a year and a half, I think, that we've done a JTK workshop at the Broad. It's the first time we do a four-day boot camp here as well. Um, so we're really excited to put you guys uh, through uh, all of that. Uh, thank you for, for coming. We have a really exciting uh, program for you. Uh, we're going to spend four days uh, delving into um, all the power and the capabilities of the GHK toolkit. Um, not just what it does, but also how to use it effectively, how to run it, and how to run it on um, the cloud platform called Terra that we'll be introducing to many of you today. So really excited about that. Okay, so. I've already started by forgetting my slide advancer. It's the morning. All right. Okay. Uh, it works. All right. So we're going to talk about uh, GHK, Genome Analysis Toolkit, not pronounced GATK. Please don't say GATK. Uh, gives me hives. GATK. It's a thing. Um, it's a toolkit that is most well known for germline variant calling, but it actually extends to uh, all the major variant classes. This is something we'll talk about a lot uh, during these four days. Um, and it also does a lot of things. It includes the Picard tools now are available from within uh, the GTK toolkit. Um, and it also includes, well, one of the, the big points of emphasis for the development team now is to make it easier for people to run these tools um, effectively and appropriately. And so for all the major use cases that are supported, we have best practices workflows that uh, implement our best recommendations for how to run uh, these tools. Uh, the software is fully open source. As a reminder, it is a command line tool. There's no graphical user interface. But again, there's been a lot of effort put into integrating the tools into workflows that can be run uh, fairly easily on, um, on the Terra platform. And we'll t I'll talk about that in a minute, but. Uh, okay, so it's a, it's a toolkit. There's many tools, like it's not just one tool, it's not one variant caller. JTK includes over 100 tools at this point. Uh, quite a bit more if we were counting all the Picard ones. Anyway, the point is, there's a lot that you can do. We're going to scope this workshop and talk specifically about four main um, applications of the tools. We're going to talk about short variants, so SNPs and indels. We're going to talk about copy number variation. In both cases, we're going to cover the germline case and the somatic case. Uh, there are some things that are still in development. For example, the structural variation is something that we are uh, actively developing, um, but that's not fully mature yet, so we're not going to cover it in this workshop. Uh, but watch the space. We'll talk about that uh, kind of soon. All right, so we had a, a big release very recently, version 4.1. It's been one year since the big GHK4 release. Uh, which might only big for, be big for us, but uh, basically GHK4 was a, a complete rewrite of the GHK toolkit. It's kind of a big deal. Um, it's been a year since, and there's a lot of things that have been smoothed out. And so GHK 4.1 has uh, kind of a lot of stability improvements that we're really proud of, but also some new capabilities. And we have a uh, kind of a blog series that describes all the new capabilities and the improvements um, in the 4.1 release. Uh, and it's a series of nine blog posts that are written by the lead developers who are talking about the highlights of what their tools can do. Uh, I do really encourage you to read that on the blog uh, at that address. All right, so um, I just want to point out one more thing on here is that as I mentioned, uh, there's the main uh, variant calling workflows that we're going to talk about during this workshop, but there's a few additional capabilities which we're not going to cover in detail, uh, but which may be really relevant and interesting for you. And so, for example, we have now uh, a workflow for mitochondrial variant calling, 
uh, with GHK, we have a workflow for uh, liquid biopsy uh, analysis. So these are um, workflows that are kind of side use cases for us to some extent. But they're really interesting. Uh, they're uh, completely uh, mature. And so I really encourage you to check them out. Okay? All right. Now, as I mentioned, for all of these use cases, we have best practices workflows that, um, that implement how you should run the tools so that you don't have to go and run each tool uh, manually. The uh, workflow scripts are deposited in GitHub. They're open uh, and so you can get them on this GitHub uh, repository, series of repositories. We also make these available uh, in a new platform that that's called Terra. Now, who here is familiar with FireCloud? FireCloud, yeah, quite a lot of people. So Terra is kind of the next generation of FireCloud. It's the same underlying platform. Can you still hear me? Um, yeah, okay. Just as long as uh, <laughs> audible. Okay, so uh, Terra is this uh, next generation of FireCloud. It's a cloud-based platform uh, that allows you to run workflows um, and do analysis, share da data. Um, everything that you need to do end-to-end -end analysis, collaborate and share with uh, the scientific community, okay? And so we have been working with uh, other groups within the data sciences platform uh, to get this, to get the, the GHK tools load it into this platform to make it as easy as possible for all of you to use the tools effectively. Um, and we'll, we'll talk a bit more about how the platform works and you'll have many opportunities during the course of the workshop to actually try it out. While you're learning about GHK, you'll also learn uh, how to use the platform. And we make all of the best practices uh, workflows available in this platform in workspaces that show how each workflow is uh, run on some example data. Uh, and you see everything kind of worked out. So there's nothing that you have to set up yourself. It's already there. You just need to bring your own data and, uh, and you can run it. Hopefully that will help. All right. Um, and you'll have the opportunity to do this uh, during the course of the workshop. Now, I'm gonna stop talking and we'll get to the workshop itself. Just to recap, you should have already received this agenda, but just to recap, we're going to have four days. Some of you are um, attending a subset. Today is, is the one day that everybody attends. Um, we'll have four days to delve into various aspects. Uh, today, and really this morning, we'll kind of introduce everything you need to know. Uh, introduce the tools, kind of the, the background science context, um, so that everybody is kind of on the same page. This afternoon, uh, you'll walk through a case study that's exercising GHK tools within the Terra platform. Uh, tomorrow, it will be a deep dive into the germline variant calling best practices. Uh, you'll learn everything about germline indel, SNFT and indel calling in the morning and variant filtering and call set evaluation in the afternoon. On day three, which is actually going to be Tuesday next week, because we couldn't get this room for four days consecutive, uh, on Tuesday, um, many of you will learn about the somatic uh, SNFs and indels calling in the morning um, and somatic copy number alterations in the afternoon. So that's the big somatic day. Uh, and finally, on day four, on Wednesday next week, uh, you're going to be learning about uh, more deep dive into the technical side of uh, writing scripts, workflow scripts, and running them uh, with uh, Whittle and Cromwell, which is our pipelining system. Um, in the afternoon, there'll be some stretch topics uh, where you can learn about Docker, you can learn about BigQuery and Hale. So these are tooling that are related to GATK and that are kind of part of the, the life cycle of uh, an analysis that you might do uh, with GATK. And throughout, throughout this workshop, there'll be hands-on tutorials where you'll have the opportunity to actually practice running the tools. Uh, a lot of that will be running 
individual tools one at a time to really delve into what's happening, what the program is doing, what the data looks like, uh, how it's coming out. Um, but you'll also have the opportunity to run some workflows in the way that you would for a uh, kind of a routine analysis setting. Um, so we'll have a series of speakers throughout these four days. Uh, many of them are actual GHTK developers, so they know everything about the tools because they wrote them. Uh, we also have a number of people from my team. Uh, we're the support and outreach team. Uh, so there'll be a number of people from my team teaching the tutorials. Uh, and they have crafted these tutorials to help you understand how the tools work. Um, and we're very excited to deliver this to you. Finally, uh, this is an opportunity for you to ask all the burning questions you have. So don't hesitate uh, to ask questions as we go. Uh, individual speakers may give you their preferences for either keeping questions to the end or just talking. Uh, asking questions while they're talking, um, they'll let you know. But by default, we're really here to answer your questions. So don't be shy, don't hesitate. Um, participate. All right, so without further ado, uh, we'll get on with the first talks. We're going to start with an introduction to sequencing that will be given by Mark Flaherty, who is over there. Any questions for me before, while we mic mark up? Right. If uh, I'm mostly interested in semantic variant calling, do you mm -hmm. think doing the day two with the germline variant calling useful for that? Is it sort of building on that or are you independent? Um, we designed it so that they can be independent if you need to. But honestly, I would recommend if you have the opportunity, if you have the time, uh, because it'll fill in some of the details and there's definitely some logical relationships. Um, Partly because the, the germline and somatic variant collars are built on the same foundation, so that will help you, yeah. Question. Yeah. Yes, the slides are already available in Google Drive, um, and we'll send out the links. The link is, sorry, the link is broad.io slash GATK1903. GATK is all capitals. <laughs> <laughs> 